A lot of dirt and sweat happens when you work on a drilling rig in Western Africa. There's no tour buses driving through this region. It's bone dry, sweltering hot, and the crew even sleeps outside just to stay cool. Their last five tries to hit water have been a complete bust. They've been working hard for days with nothing to show for it but a string of dry holes. The crazy thing is these guys love this work. They keep coming back for more. We had lentils and franks and hot dogs and bread, ravioli, and then we had wonderful strawberry wafers for dessert. That's why. That's why. <laughs> The Gorma pastor discusses the best location for the well with Bob, a project partner for Friends in Action. Bob is interpreter, public relations liaison, and he knows the lay of the land better than most. In an effort to communicate to both tribes that they're not playing favorites, Bob and the team decide to begin drilling in what could prove to be a dry area in between the Bella and Gorma communities. Well, it's 20 to 5. We're going to probably just get set up and we'll get a good start in the morning. Before the crew even gets started for the day, they face their first obstacle. The compressor that drives the pneumatic drill no, won't start. That, uh, kill switch up on top. In such a remote area, if there the problem go. can't be solved with the tools and parts that are on the truck, then the mission is over. The Gorma pastor prays that God will strike the rock and make the water gush out, just like he did with Moses in the desert. The large downhole hammer begins to drill through the soft upper surface of the ground. Anticipation at Jabali is great, and emotions run high at the prospect of abundant, clean water right here in the village. The Fulani, a Muslim group, also await with uncontained excitement. The water will be freely available for them to share as well. The debris is inspected as a steady blast of air shoots it out of the hole while the drill works its way down. Word of the impending well spreads like wildfire, and the people have already arrived, waiting to bring their first bucket of clean water home. No dirt, no disease, no parasites. The first encouraging sign, the debris being blown out of the hole is definitely wet. The morale of the crew is beginning to rise as the excitement builds among the villagers. Now there's no question about it. Water is flowing from the hole. But Dean and the crew are not convinced yet. They've seen this before. There is water, but there's still not enough to build a well. The decision is made to pull out and find a new location. The disappointed crew load the drill pipes back onto the carousel, frustrated by the reality that the last six holes have all been dry. We've uh, just made a whole lot of dry holes. It's been a week and a half with just like a lot of hard work and no real visible results. The last one we went down 220 feet and there was just a little trickle of water, not enough to make a well out of it. We saw a little bit of water, but really we need three to five gallons a minute for a hand pump and that might have produced maybe 10 gallons an hour. So it wasn't enough for a well at all. It was enough to keep the dust down while we we're drilling. Uh, enough to tease us really is all that it was doing. At the new location, a drag bit is chosen to penetrate the surface this time, since the soil is softer. Yeah. 
If the team is going to get back to the base during daylight, they have to call it a day now. Somebody gave him for two guinea fowls for supper and one book. He said, very happy. Very, very happy. Villagers show their appreciation with heartfelt gifts of two guinea fowl and a goat. <laughs> Early on the third day, things are looking very promising. The spray of debris is not only wet, but wet enough to leave a muddy puddle around the mouth of the hole. The tension of waiting and wondering gives way to uncontained excitement. Now the entire village wants to get involved. Sand is needed to create a cement foundation for the well and is brought from a dry riverbed nearby. These ladies look really happy, which is remarkable considering they're carrying hundreds of pounds of sand in their heads. Women and girls do most of the carrying in Africa, and that includes water. Many of them have to walk for miles to get it. There is an open well in Jabali, but the volume of water it produces is very limited. During the dry season, there might be just a few inches at the bottom, or none at all. And a well like this can spread sickness to the entire community because it can easily be contaminated by animals or by dirt on the buckets that are lowered into it. The waiting is over. Like the water, emotions can no longer be contained. This is what Friends in Action is all about. It's why guys like these are in Western Africa. It's also why people like you are making it possible for them to be there. For all your support, and for being part of the team, thank you. <laughs>